So this is our big girl, Abilene. Abilene came to us from the Bakersfield Animal Shelter about a month ago, and she was 90 pounds, and she's an older St. Bernard, so those two factors combined for her to be in very bad shape. So the only thing we were concerned about was getting her out of the shelter and up here where we could take care of her, figure out what's wrong with her, treat her with medicine, and uh, hopefully get her healthy. It started out pretty bad. She wouldn't walk, um, you know, but two or three steps. She was really wobbly. She had no, um, her equilibrium was off. So, and she didn't respond at the uh, Bakersfield Animal Shelter to antibiotics. So she was on a very good antibiotic, Clavamox, and, and it did nothing. So uh, we were really concerned. She had a totally runny nose, a cough, um, bad eyes, bad everything, really. Uh, we then also discovered a gigantic abscess on her neck. Um, which at one point was the size of a basketball that we drained and trimmed the area, shaved it, and um, had her on a new cycle of antibiotics, which has kept her healthy um, and healthier and healthier and healthier as the, the days and weeks have gone by. Um, I've been gone for, uh, for about nine days, and last night when I was gone, my dad called me and found one birthed puppy that he thought was a rat at first. Uh, obviously, it's not a rat, but a St. Bernard puppy. So the last thing, we were, needless to say, the last thing we expected is that our girl was pregnant, um, even though we probably should have guessed because she's probably had about 10 litters. Uh, her nipples are as National Geographic as it gets. But um, just the fact that she was able to come back from her illness and still develop um, these puppies so well, especially considering how, many, how much medication she was on, uh, it's truly remarkable. The fact that none of them are birth defected or too underweight or anything like that is really remarkable. Um, so what a what an absolutely unbelievable sequence of events from a... I mean, she couldn't walk more than a couple feet without collapsing and saying, I'm, I'm done. And that was just a few weeks ago. And now here she is, the proud mama of six more or five more puppies. Um, so really a good... It uh, really just turned out turned out well so um, couldn't be happier and now our girl's getting ready to go to her foster home where she'll be taken care of for the next six weeks while her puppies wean and she gets to um, eat and well, so the puppies get to eat hard food and then we'll get them vaccinated and find them homes so keep uh, keep yourselves posted we'll keep everyone posted on Facebook and uh, thanks a lot